it's Jack, and today I'm playing Korn with the sub-faction The Gortide. Now I'm going to go over my list. First going with my leaders, I have a Bloodsecrator with the artifact Thronebreaker's Torque, a Bloodstoker, a Bloodthirster of Insensate Rage with the artifact Amulet of Destiny, the man himself Corgus Cull, Skulltaker, for my general I'm taking a Skull Grinder with the command trait Hugh the Foe and the artifact Gore Cleaver. For my battle line, I'm taking a unit of 5 Flesh Hounds, a unit of 10 Blood Reavers with Reaver Blades, a unit of 10 Blood Reavers with Meat Ripper Axes, a reinforced unit of Blood Letters, a unit of 10 Blood Warriors equipped with the Gore Fist and one equipped with a Gore Glaive. For my other units, I have 2 units of 5 Wrathmongers and a Korgorath. I'm taking 3 Core Battalions, the Warlord Battalion, Hunters of the Heartlands, and the Command Entourage with the Magnificent trait. I'm taking two extra artifacts, giving me a total of three, and I have a 2,000 point army, so I will not be taking any triumphs. And that is my 2,000 points of Corn the Gortide. Hey Jack, what is your, uh, what's your Kargarath name? Mochi. Hey, my name is Shu, and in this battle report, I am playing the Cities of Sigmar Phoenician. My general is an anointed on foot. His command trait is one with fire and ice, Golden Mist. This allows him to cast a spell, called Golden Mist. Not to be confused with the other golden water-based sport. I have a battle mage, which is my general's adjutant. She's from the mortal realm Garan. Her lore of the phoenix is Amber Tide. I have an anointed on Frostheart Phoenix, an anointed on Flamespire Phoenix. I have an assassin. I have 10 phoenix guard who are the honored retinue and you can tell them by their red cloaks. I have 10 more phoenix guard, 10 more phoenix guard, and 10 more phoenix guard to fill out the rest of the army. I'm taking an Emerald Life Swarm and the spell, and my core battalions are Warlord and Hunters of the Heartland. All in all, that is 1,985 points of Phoenician. Today's battle report was sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare, in case you didn't know or seen any of our other videos, is a learning platform with thousands of different topics and classes. The instructors are individual creators, and how it works is pretty easy. You subscribe to Skillshare, you get access to video tutorials, it's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, and they're always launching premium classes so you can stay focused and follow your curiosity. There's a bunch of different things here to look at, like photography, videography, organization, self-care. One topic I've been super interested in lately is called Mastering TikTok by Taylor Lauren. TikTok is... That's the right way to put it. I've been kind of low-key obsessed with the weird crap on TikTok. I just get to the weirdest corners of it, and I just kind of want to know what makes it tick, and this is uh, pretty revealing stuff. So check it out. Find a link below. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. Have a great time, and enjoy the battle report. We're playing the mission Tectonic Interference. Uh, so there are three objectives. And before we decide who's going to go, we see which one's the alpha, or we can say the jack. No. <laughs> uh, uh, so one's going to be the jack objective, the other two are going to be the shoe objectives. Um, no. So the, I'll happily uh, take the yeah, other two objectives. The alpha is worth two, the betas are worth one. But you can actually, if you have two betas, you get one point each. Some of the missions are like if you have one and you have the other one, you only get points for one. But so. The max you can get is four, yeah. uh, and you get two for each battle tactic. So, I'm going to go over my deployment. Yeah. I have a unit of Blood Reavers with the Reaver Blades, a unit of the Blood Reavers with the Meat Ripper Axes, uh, right behind them, Wrathmongers and Corgus Cull. Up here I have Skull Taker, the unit of 20 Blood Letters, uh, my Bloodthirster of Insensate Rage, and he definitely has that Amulet of Destiny, so he has the five-up board save. I have my uh, my uh, Blood Stoke, no, Blood to Crater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blitz created the banner, and he has the uh, Thornbreaker Torque, so he can't get rendered. My general here, he's going to mess people up. It's going to be beautiful. Mochi, the Korgrath. Uh, my unit of 10 Blood Reavers. You can only take them in tents now. I mean, you can double up and get 40, or maybe 60. I don't know who's going to run 60 Blood Warriors. but uh, So they're here. Wrathmonger's behind them with a Blood Stoker next to him. And on my right flank, I got my unit of bull Flesh Hounds. And that is 2,000 points. And uh, let's go over Shu's side, see what he did. Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, so the, the three objectives here on the battlefield, we have the one, two, and three. We'll roll for those to see which one's which. Um, so we have, you know, alpha and beta energy. Hello, my name is Shu, and I'm playing the Phoenix Temple Phoenicium. Over here on the right, we have a uh, anointed on Frostheart Phoenix. Down mm -hmm. here, we have some Phoenix Guard. Here, we have another unit of Phoenix Guard. You can tell them by the blue cloak. Uh, back here we have my general, who is an anointed, just hanging out on foot, and behind him is his 
sister, the battle mage. Uh, over here we have the general's guard, who have the red cloaks. Up here we have another anointed on Frostheart Phoenix. Over here, more Phoenix Temple, uh, Phoenix Guard, and a anointed on Frost or Flamespire Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So we are almost entirely uh, Phoenicium units, except for two. I do have a Battle Mage and an Assassin rolling around in one of these units somewhere. All right, before we decide who, because you, you can decide who gets to go first, let's see which one is the Alpha and which one are the Beta objectives. There's going to be one, two, three, four, and five, six. The roll right here. Boom, right in the middle. That's the alpha objective and sh Cities of Sigmar. Shoot, turn Phoenician. one. Okay, we're going to pick a battle trait first for the start of my turn, the battle tactic. Excuse me, I'm picking a ferocious advance, which means that I'm going to run three units forward and if they end within three inches of each other, I'm going to be able to complete that battle tactic. Excellent. And, yes. Uh, we're going to try to get a command ability from the general's adjutant on a four plus. Command point, that's adjutant? No, no command point, correct. Yeah, no. And uh, on this guy, we're going to try to do the heroic action to get a ham point. He does. Sure, he has one, but he has to spin that one. And that, correct. That was a, a rules uh, mistake that we got wrong last time, and we're going to get it right this time. Darn mm -hmm. it. So uh, we're going to try to cast a spell, which is the Emerald Life Swarm, to try to get that on the table. This is coming mm -hmm. from my battle mage. She's minus one to cast because she's within 16, eyeball range. Yeah, 16 inches of the skull oh, altar, so minus skull one to cast. Altar. Yep, here we go. That's does a not no. go off. So and that's the end of my hero phase. Hero phase over. Movement phase. We're going to come right back after Shu moves his army forward into my charge range. Since Shu went first, he got a command point, and he got another command point for his general being alive. Since I'm going second, I got two, and I got one for my general being alive. And Shu does have the extra one for his uh, uh, general, and I get to roll uh, a command point for my general, which uh, my, excuse me, battle attack, uh, heroic action, excuse me. And I'm going to try to give Corgus Cole here a command point. I'm gonna use a dreaded black dice. Nope. No, didn't need that. Didn't need to happen. Okay, <laughs> so back to the movement phase. And that is how Shu ended his movement phase. Just ran all his uh, Phoenix Guard up to grab all the objectives, holding back with all the birds just to see what happened. Shu's army actually has no shooting, so uh, and there's no charges because everybody ran. Let's go over. Uh, it's gonna go to the end of the turn. Shu has all three objectives. He has the alpha objective for two points, the two beta objectives for two points, and he ran the three units up here to get his uh, second uh, his battle tactic. So that's another two points. So two, Shu got a max of six points. And going over to Corn, turn one. Jack. All right, Corn, turn one. I have to pick a battle tactic. I'm going to take aggressive expansion. I have to pick two objectives and try to take those. I'm going to try to take this one and this one here. So which two are those? The two to... beta ones. The ones on the side. Okay. I'm going to try to yeah. take those for my battle tactic. I don't have any priests. Um, I know priests took a hit in 3.0. Um, they're still good, but I just don't have any. So uh, I'm going to do my um, heroic action. I'm going to do finest hour or best day ever. <laughs> best day ever on my bloodthirster. Shout out to uh, uh, Rich. He came up with that at a tournament I was at recently. So best day ever. And that is it for my hero phase. I don't have anything else to do. But we have to actually... Sh <laughs> Shu has to pick his um, heroic action. Okay, and for my heroic action, I'm going to do uh, the heroic leadership on my general. Try to get another command point there. On a 4+, I do. You got it. Okay, this is the way Jack's army looks right now. We'll come back right after movement. So I ran up here, staying outside of 3. It looks like a little close. Outside yeah. of three here, I just wanted to get that objective. Yep. Um, Corgus Cole ran up with the Wrathmongers, almost knocked that over, saved it. Uh, Bloodthirster <laughs> did fly up with his 10 inches. Skull Taker and the Blood Letters behind him just moved up a little. My uh, Bloods Creator garrisoned himself inside the Skull Ultra, which is a new thing you can do. If a, if a uh, model with, has less than eight wounds, I believe, can garrison in that. So mm -hmm. he has plus one to a save, but it doesn't matter because he has the uh, Ethereal, if you will. Uh, but he has minus one hit in there. Moved up five with my general, because he's playing on chargers, so is the Korgrath. Wrathmongers ran up. I did spend a command point to make them run a six. Mm -hmm. uh, Bloodsucker did whip my general to fury, so he's going to be getting plus three to his charge and re-rolling wound rolls. He's furious. Uh, my blood uh, blood warriors did run up, because I just wanted this objective. And these guys moved up, but I probably won't charge. So, But I do have a shooting attack with them, so I will be shooting nice. him and unleashing hell if he chooses the charge next turn. Shu did redeploy his general just to get a little closer. He rolled a six, but he can't get uh, within three. Yep. He wants to get in there. Okay, Jack, shitty. Oh, my dog here. That's my dog. Arf, arf. Uh, hitting on twos. 
Wounding on fours? Yeah, no rend. All right, no rend. Uh, so we got a four up on those guys. Uh, that's a one, and how much damage? One damage. And a four up for witness to destiny. Ooh, no, that's gonna go. drop it off. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. The corn shooting. Korgorath is gonna use his tech nine. Yeah, he has a shooting attack as well. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours, but he does get lookout served within three uh, of his unit here. So hitting on fours. I'll re -roll that Corn one. is gonna shoot nice my general. Hit and wounded on fours. Nope. That was it. I can't. Charging. Going first with my bloodthirster. Four inches. Four inches. That's not gonna make it, so I'm gonna re-roll that. With a command point. So. Okay, command point reroll. Yes, uh, down to two command points. Oh, uh, come on. God. Hey, that'll do. Eight. The corn's number. Smashing in there. Got to go with my general. He gets a plus three to this. I can't reroll. Uh oh. In there. This is going to pass those guys up. General Sminerol. <laughs> now I'm going to charge with my Corgrath. He's in there with six. You'll let your pet eat the prince. And yeah, he'll go like that. Get them both inside. Bring the Azure. Okay. No, so I have a. Uh, that was it for my charges. I do have a monstrous rampage I can do. Um, I can stomp, which I will probably do. Or I scream. I'll, I can roar you. Yeah. No, I'll just stomp you. Okay. Just stomp you. Here we go. Got it. D3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. Guys. Let's see if I can get three four ops on Witness to Destiny. I cannot, but I can get two of them. So it's going to stomp an elf into the ground. Yeah, I hope you hurt your foot. Did as much damage as my gorehound. <laughs> so uh, the Bloodthirster is going to fight first. He did do uh, best day ever. And I'm going to use a command ability. All out attack. Give me plus one to hit. All right. Going All right. first with my Bloodthirster of Insensate Rage. I do get plus one to hit, so I'm hitting on threes. I'm re-rolling ones to hit because uh, I'm a corn demon. But also when he charges, he gets reroll ones to hit, which is really good now in third edition. So I'm hitting on threes, rerolling ones on this one. All right, that's three ones. Rerolling those. Well, okay, and so that's five hits. I got an extra attack because my uh, blood secretor banner. He's not within eight of a uh, wrathmonger, so he's not getting that buff. Okay. Now I'm wounding on threes. I'm wounding on twos normally. I'm within the aura of that guy to be wounded on threes, but since I did best day ever, I'm wounding on twos again. <laughs> best oh. day ever. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Right. Oh my gosh, Jack. So that's three at a minus two. Okay. I wish if I would have rolled sixes, that would have been way better. Yeah. Because I would have exploded. Uh, so minus two rent, so that gives me a six up armor save, uh, which I make one. Okay, and this going to be d6 damage. For two to six damage, that's so one, damage. two, and then the other two are, okay. Oh yeah, you saved one. And uh, I am Gortide, but Gortide only works for reroll the ones to wound with mortals, and he's a demon. Okay, okay. Seven, so I have eight Witness to Destiny rolls here. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many four ups I can get out of, out of there. Uh, not bad, not bad, I'm bad. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to lose uh, about four guys. There yeah. <clears throat> okay, we're attacking here with this uh, unit. This is my Royal Guard. We're going to go to your general. We're using the All Out Assault uh, uh, command ability. So plus one hit. I will use all out defense on my general. Give me plus one to save. Okay, cool. So that will negate my Ren 1 here. So they're hitting on twos, winning on threes. 22 attacks. Uh, Oof. Yeah. Pretty good roll. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I needed the <laughs> I needed that uh, all assault. Okay, now we are... Winning on threes? Here we go. Nice. Oh, I'm liking all those Yikes. ones. Making all those ones. Uh, those go away. So the, the rest of these are... Ones and twos are gone? Going in. Oh no, how many is that? So two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven. Okay, eleven wounds. I did do all out defense, so I get plus one to save, but you have a random one, so I go right back down. So I need a lot of fours. Yeah, okay, pretty one, good. two, three, four, five. Just enough. If oh, I would have no. got one more, he would have been alive. Oh, oh no. Right, Korgorath's turn. Korgorath. Where's he, Mochi going to go? He's going to attack into the Phoenix. I was going to attack into here, but she explained how the body ground guard works, and it would have been it would have been too many extra saves because yeah. they got Witness of Destiny here. Then if they he takes it, they could have took it and then get their Witness of Destiny. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be hitting on threes. I get plus two attacks, one from the Blitzcrater banner, one from being holding within eight of the Wrathmongers. Uh, 
okay, there we go. And then wounding on threes, I no wounding on fours because the um, minus one. He does not have the uh, mortal keyword, so he does not get to reroll. Right, for the blizzard. Right. So that's three at a minus one into your um, gentleman there, your phoenix. It, into the phoenix card. So minus one, so bring up my save to five. All right, it's two fail all. each. Ooh, nice. So let's roll six dice. See how many of those I can make, get on witness to destiny four plus. Uh, we're going to save two and lose a whopping four. Four guys. Uh, Good job. Okay, we. Uh, I did read it. I did do it wrong. So uh, one of the things that's been causing a lot of confusion is that there's a command ability for a Phoenix Temple called uh, Captain the Phoenix Guard, which takes place at the beginning of the combat phase. Now, if I put it on a hero, then he becomes a subject to that command ability, and then the other uh, the units themselves can actually use different combat phase command abilities, mm -hmm. like all of, uh, defense and all of assault. Yeah. So that generated some confusion for me about when I could use it. Uh, my apologies for those of you screaming at your monitors right now. Hopefully we're still going to have fun when I chop this bloodthirster's leg off uh, with these 11 dice. Here we go. Hitting on threes, winning on threes. Threes. Ones mm, and... Roll. Oh, white. Nice. Yes. And then threes. Here goes your leg. Hope you were happy with it. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, how many wounds is that? Uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight. All right. I'm going to Corn's roll. number. Eight wounds I have to save. Uh, I have a four-up save, and minus one will put me to five. Um, but because I did do best day ever, a.k.a. finest hour, I get plus one to my save. So I will be at three, going to four. So Let's have it. Nice. Okay, so I saved three, and I'm taking five. But I do have the Amulet of Destiny, so I have so a five-up five ward save. The five-up Matt ward hey, save. Saves you for two. We only take a three. Take a three. Put me down to 11. Okay, my general is going to try to chop up that Kogarath with some hits. He's got four attacks, hitting on threes, winning on threes. Uh, missing with one. Wounds on threes. Stop rolling so good. Wounds with all three, sorry. Okay, so I have a four up save, going to five up. Come on, Kogarath, you can do it. Okay, chop. I'm taking two wounds. Two wounds. He's okay. He's all right, he's all right. All right, and uh, that is going to be the end of the combat phase, I do not think you have to take Battle Shock because of a certain special rule called the cheating rule that you're using. Yeah, there's Phoenix Temple. If there's a cap, uh, like a Phoenix Temple, Phoenix Guard hero within 12, then you don't need to, you're just going to Battle Shock. So there we go. So uh, Battle Shock, uh, I, that's worth five and that's worth two, but Shu has more than seven models there, so I don't take that, the alpha objective, but I do take these two. That's going to be two points, and I did get my battle tactic because those are the two objectives I chose to pick. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's four to six going into first. We're going to roll to see which one's the alpha and which one's the beta. I'll let you roll this time, sheet. Okay. Uh, I will choose one, two, three, four, or five, six. It's over one, here. Two. Boom. There we go. Uh-oh. And now we're going to go to robot <laughs> dice roll off. Robot dice roll off. Three. Oh. To five. Right. Roll cocked. it. We roll it. It's cocky. Six. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the next turn. All right. Shoot. Twist my arm. All right, now Shu has to get his battle tactics, all that stuff. We'll come back. For my battle tactic, I'm going to try to bring it down. I've picked uh, the battle tactic to bring it down. I'm going to select the Bloodthirster, which is, I think, the only monster on the table. Mm -hmm. In addition, we're going to uh, try to, to do the heroic action of heroic leadership by barking out another command point. If we can eke one out here, uh, we'll try to get it. Um, uh, try to get it uh, from here, actually. Okay. And that'll be on a four up onto my big bird. It doesn't happen. Yay. Hey. I'm going to try to do heroic recovery. My bloodthirster who's taking three wounds. I just have to roll. If I roll equal to his leadership of 10, I heal one. If it's lower, I heal D3. Lower. Okay. Uh, D3. Uh, D3. Two. Nice. There's one wound left. Gotta love those hero monsters. Okay. And uh, it's still your hero phase. You got, uh, I think you want to. I'm going to try to cast the animal life swarm, which Ooh. is casting value of six and going up to seven. Mm-hmm. Because of your banner there? Yes, sir. Ooh, oh, and good. because you're within uh, range of my blood crater, you have to re-roll the successful, successful cast. Okay, here we go. What'd you get? Oh, that Six. did not go off. Unfortunate. And uh, I think you said you wanted to do rally, right? Uh, well, hold on. Uh, I do actually want to do rally, but I have a spell from my general I'm going to try to use. Ooh, okay. Which is a heal. Um... So uh, he's got the battle tactic or the command trait that allows him to cast a spell. I'm going to try to cast a spell called uh, the Golden Mist from the Lore of the Phoenix. Nobody, he, nobody's within range to be healed, but I'm just going to try to do it to buff my birds. Mm -hmm. and here we go, casting value six, going up to seven. That's not going to happen. <laughs> All right. All right. Lots of math, just for the <laughs> aftermath not to happen there. I take Corn. away these other command points. Corn, what's up? 
Yeah, it messes up your magic. Oh, so yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. And uh, rally. As we're trying to get, try to rally a unit here, I'm just going to look that up real quick. I can't. Just remembered, uh, you can only rally when you're outside of combat, uh, which these guys are. Do you want to I, I don't want to roll yeah, a command yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> command point for one guy. For okay. one guy. That's fine. Saving those command points because she knows how buff this guy can get them now. You can re-roll wound rolls and get plus one hit. So we're going on to the uh, movement phase. Movement phase, we're going to come back to see what she does. Hello there. Into the movement phase. What'd you do, Shu? Uh, for the movement phase, uh, these guys scooted over here and traded places with this bird. This bird went up here onto this thing and uh, is going to try to threaten this objective. I figured these guys are both worth five points on the objective, and we had uh, ten points on there before from these guys, so it's kind of the same thing, and they have a better shot at bringing it down, which is important for me this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, we moved the wizard up a little bit, uh, but uh, she's still not in range to be the adjutant and get extra... Um, she's not there to console the general. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And so <laughs> she, she's good enough. With it. These guys uh, just kind of got in position to charge, and this guy moved up there all the way 16 and then moved back uh, to be outside of three, which puts five mortal wounds on these guys due to the ability Wake of Fire. So on a two plus, five mortal wounds out of the dogs. Fire. Oh, all right, that is two and a half dogs down. <gasps> Ouch. <laughs> And uh, that is the end of the move phase. Okay. Charge okay. phase. Yeah, we're going to try to charge here with this uh, big bird. Shu has no shooting in his army. So that's no shooting. Charging. Um, boom, go that's in. eight. Uh, I can unleash hell, but I need to save my command point, so I will not. No unleashing hell from these dogs here. Yeah. Uh, where is he going to take bad me? Bad breath. You want to stay within um, six of that objective? Yeah, though. I do. I do. So let's see. What can I, I'm just going to put a mark here and just see if I can... Choo -choo Bam, up, there up we between go. there. Just no. remember, the objective is not there, so you can charge right through it. Oh, I can. Yep. Okay. So uh, that's where he ended up there, messing up my dogs. Yeah, my movement tray is in the way. Yeah, next charge. So the Phoenix Temple themselves, the Phoenix Guard. Oh, uh, six is six. there. Now we will have to remove this objective. Just yeah. remember where it is. We can remeasure at any point. We use them for decorative purposes, and because Games Workshop sold them to us, and while we're. If this. If we're not shilling for a Games Workshop, really, what are we? Yeah, I mean, shill's got a shill. It's shill rolling shill, ones. Shill's shill rolling <laughs> ones. Uh, let's see if these guys can make their three-inch charge, which should be just three inches. Yeah, it looks three. a little more ambitious than that. Uh, yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah going. And uh, this guy here, uh, where is he going to go? Let's see those double ones. Come on. Double ones? Up, no. Oh, no. 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 Uh, um, ooh, hold on. Can we, can, we, can we go merc that hero back there? What is that guy? Uh, you do want to get on the objective. I do want to get the objective. But I want to mark that hero. Oh, come on. Bring it. Bring it let's go. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got, what did I get? 11? 11? Yeah, you you can come get him. Can I come there? I, I got to do some math, Jack. You got to... Gotta... He's just got to go, even though he rolled 11, he's just going straight forward. And now the second guy. The second guy here. Well, oh, he's straight in there too. This is how the charges ended up. Uh, Shu yes. is definitely in combat with everybody. And start, start with the combat phase. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do his thing. Oh, you uh, have uh, two monsters at the end of the charge phase. Get to do, uh, no, three monsters. You get to do three uh, monster rampages. So we're going to have you decide which one to do. Then we'll come back. End of the charge phase. We're going to do uh, monstrous rampages, starting with this gentleman here. It's going to stomp. The bird is going to stomp. Have you ever seen a bird stomp? I have not. I, I, me neither. <laughs> So I believe it's on a D, it's just D3 so, damage. Uh, right? It's on a, th uh, on a three stop plus. Is on a two up. Two up. Here we go. D3 mortal wounds up. That's it's a four on. for D3. D3. We're gonna go into the blood reavers here for D3 for Plus one. one. Pick one up. I he did. What's here. the next guy doing? Uh, this guy's gonna roar the bloodthirster. No. Who I think is probably gonna roar back, right? Oh no, <laughs> yeah, I will probably roar back, but. All right. Finish your guys out. And, and this guy here doesn't do anything, right? Oh, yeah, he, he just... can't because there's no titanic duels over here, and there's yep. no terrain for him to cobble. I do get to uh, do something, and I will roar right back at him. Yep. I'm roaring at you. can roar at me. I'm going to roar at you. How about that? So no command abilities from this guy. Yes. Okay, now going into the combat phase. Start of the combat phase, I have two things that are going to happen. One, my assassin has arrived on the table. He's going to go over there and try to find a blood thirster. Because, you know, what else would you do when you're worth 80 points? Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning, you put on both boots, and you go get chopped up by a giant axe the size of a refrigerator. This guy is going to use Captain the Phoenix Temple, which is going to broadcast an AoE buff, allowing me to re-roll wounds. Excellent. So, holy within 12, you can re-roll? That's right. All right. And so, who is going to fight first? Uh, these guys, right here, the scene okay. of 10. 
And I wish I could rule, uh, you know, all defense, but I can't. So we're going to get all these dice ready. Okay, uh, we're going to use uh, all-out assault on these guys as well. This uh, it allows me to get the double buff in this specific condition. Uh, so we're going to be wounding or hitting on twos, wounding on threes, but re-rolling the wounds. Ooh. Here we go. Ones are special. Uh, yeah, re-roll that? No, no, you don't re-roll the one. Yeah, I oh don't my gosh. The one. But, yeah. No, that was a good uh, twos to hit. Yeah, that's right. Did. I needed it. And then uh, rolling threes to wound, but re-rolling because Captain the Phoenix Guard. Ooh. Uh, Shoes, <laughs> shoes do game. <laughs> Yo, my goodness, he's true. rolling on fire. <laughs> all, that, all that What's pent up energy. What's happening? Uh, uh, well, it's going to be three total misses out of all those. Yeah, uh, totally on the. Uh, it's okay. Because we're on the beta objective, that's right. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm going to be uh, rolling my uh, wound rolls, on my save rolls. 17. 17, okay. 17 wounds uh, at a minus one rent. I have a four up save going to a five up. But I do have that Matt Ward save, so I will have a 5 up 5 up <laughs> Okay, okay, not bad so not far. Bad, not, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I, uh, so far I saved 5. Now if I get another 5, I would be super happy. I would be so happy. I would be Let's the have it. happiest corn boy. <gasps> oh, oh my ooh, gosh! I think I did get another yeah. 6. Woo! Six, so I am only taking two, four, six wounds out of that. Thanks, huh, thanks, darn Matt it. Ward. I appreciate you. I think everybody <laughs> who doesn't like you is, they're wrong. You're right, Matt. You, you get a pass, buddy. Yes, I enjoy your work. What's going on? Uh, I've taken nine wounds. So I'm down a couple profiles, so my attacks go from four, um, from five to four, but I do have the Blessed Crater banner mm -hmm. in range, so I'll be getting five attacks, uh, hitting on fours, wounding on threes, because I am within range of this guy who debuffs me. Uh, I am fighting, like, oh, the assassin's scary, so I, I'll i probably just go into the assassin. That's what I'm going to do. All four uh, dice into the assassin? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to this. Do it. No, I'm, Chop I'm, I'm doing pieces. the best thing you can do in Age of Sigma. I'm splitting, splitting your attacks. Splitting my attacks. <laughs> it's your so brand, dude. Three into the Phoenix Guard here that haven't attacked, and two into the assassin. Okay, cool. Here's the two into the assassin. Assassin. Hit on fours. Boom. I wish those were two moves. All right. Moving on twos. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. This thing is... Double click. Okay, Jack. Uh, sorry, we uh, the camera camera bumped out there. <laughs> so that's what Jack rolled a five and a two. Five and two to wound. So that uh, because of the debuff, um, I don't wound the uh, assassin, but I do do d six wounds. So on a five up, the guy's dead. He's, he's gone. Oh, only oh, two wounds to the assassin. Two wounds. We're gonna put him back on the table. And <laughs> in my in my anticipation of him getting eaten through his metal bikini, I took him <laughs> off the table. But now he's going back. <laughs> Now the three into the uh, Phoenix Temple. Yep. This is where uh, they go the Game Busters. Oh, I get to reroll ones because I'm a corn demon. Yep. Two hits. Thank you. I'm rolling like a barbarian. And three <laughs> is the wound. Boom, two. And at a minus two rain, so you have two. Oof. Two six ups. I hope I make these. No, oh, two, two ones. Six damage. Wow. Three damage into the Phoenix. Uh, so uh, two, four, six. And uh, what was that total? Ten. 9, 10, oh my gosh. Now mm -hmm. I have to roll 10 dice and hope we get 4 ups on these. Otherwise, the whole unit just goes bye bye. I wouldn't be mad. Wait, is it into this group of 5 or the group of 10? The, the group of 10. Five. Five, yeah. Oh, the group of 5. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have the guys who haven't attacked. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, um, that was a good uh, good choice. Good. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Rest in peace. Oh, that's wait, wait, all that's one, there. Two, oh, yeah, I got it. You wiped the unit, so you get a blood type point. And I get a Phoenix Tide point <laughs> because you murked one of my units. A Phoenician thing, a buff oh, that's means right. that the rest of my army is plus one to hit for the rest of the, the phase. Oh, so no. it's a weird thing. So Shu is going to fight with uh, this unit of Phoenix Temple here. But yep. in the new rules, you pile in to the closest unit so you can actually leave models. So Shu piled in this unit from here over to here. Now they're wholly within 12 of his general. So they do get the reroll wound roll bonus now, and they get the plus one hit bonus just from a Phoenician unit dying on the table. This phase, right? Yes. Yeah, so he's going to be hitting on twos, wounding on threes, rerolling re threes. Yep. Here we go. Let's see if we can chop up the blood warriors hitting on twos. Oh, I'm going to use all defense on these blood warriors. By the way. That, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so three of those dice go away. Uh, we're going to do uh, now wounding on threes, rerolling. Ooh, okay, re-roll. That's a good re-roll. This is a good army for you, Shu. It is. I need it. <laughs> re-roll your, your bad set. It rolls. Here we go. 
We found it. And I forget Living City. We found it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going to take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 11, uh, 13. 13. 13. Rolling 13 saves. I have a uh, Forp save. Uh, minus one rain, but I did all that defense, so my three goes to four. Mm -hmm. and if I do roll a six, because I have the gore fist, you're taking a mortal wound. Gore fist to the face! Come on, go fist him. Gore fist. It's a uh, corn's version of go fish. fish. So we got three dead guys. Oh, and a half. And but I do have one mortal wound going back to you. All right, bonk, right to the face. Let's see if I can uh, shell off off that mortal wound with my witness to destiny. He saw that one coming and dodged it. Mm, okay. uh, cool. So how many you got? Uh, three. Uh -huh. uh, but in now that uh, they're dead, I get to pile and attack. Pile and attack with them because they're blood warriors. Whoop, whoop. Okay, three guys gonna fire back. So they have two attacks normally, plus mm -hmm. one for the wrathmongers who are within range, and plus one for the buzzcreer banner. So they have four attacks each, hitting on threes. Oh, it's a lot of dice. Four misses. Uh, I am bad. not within range of one of your debuff phoenixes, so I will be wounding on fours, but I am gore-tied, so I'm, uh, and I'm wholly within 12 of an objective. I'll be re-rolling ones to wound. Ooh, look at these three ones. Come on, fours. Oh! So, f look at that. Two, four, six into your phoenix temple. Uh, no range, so it's a four-up, four-up. Okay, I gotta get uh, six four-up saves here. And there's no run, right? No run. All right, so four-up saves. Uh, just so I, I fail one, and let's see if he gets witness to destiny. See, he's, did he see this coming? Oh, he yes, he did. Matrix That's a crazy roll. What's what's going wrong? Something's going on with me. I've been hit by gamma radiation or something. Okay, so I am garrisoned into this thing, so my base is the, my my model's the whole thing. Yep. Uh, so units holding within sixteen get plus one attack. Uh, Blood Reavers holding within sixteen get plus one attack because uh, if they're within eight, sixteen of a totem. So mm -hmm. they'll get plus two from him. They'll get plus one from the, uh, the Wrathmongers. So they're at plus three attacks each. Uh, I will use all out uh, attack here. So I'm out of uh, command points. So I'm hitting on threes, wounding on fives, re-rolling ones. <laughs> the so I have a whole bunch of dice here. And a bucket of dice. Okay. We'll roll. come back after results. So 24, 24 hits to the Plague Marks. I mean, Blood <laughs> Blood Reapers, these are, do, these are the Meat Ripper Axes, so they will be uh, minus one rend. Mm -hmm. But I'm wounded on fives because that D, that dirty debuff. The dirty um, debuff. So, but I do reroll ones to wound. So oh, you're rolling ones. Oh, look at all those sixes! What? Look at all those sixes! There's more railroad tracks there than in Minecraft. Wow! And another six. All right, so Good that is job. a lot of sixes. My goodness. Oof. That's wow. That, that's all. It's like more than half. Yeah, two, four, six, eight misses out of those. That's like so a that's super two, Yahtzee. Four, that's two six, Yahtzees. eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen sixes this, and one five. This is the red letter day. This is a uh, fifteen sixes and one five. Uh, that is a uh, wow. Wow. Wowza. <laughs> okay. So okay. So I gotta. I owe you some dice. I gotta go collect a bucket. All right. Cool. So I owe you 16 dice, uh, minus one rent because of your meat ripping stuff. You're going to chop my tree down. Uh, I've got an armor save of five. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. Don't... That's the best uh, unit of 10 Blood Reavers that I've ever done. Yeah, in, yeah. His, in the history of Warhammer. In the history of Warhammer. I just, I'm just going to double check the, the model's armor save is five. It's it is, four no, up. it's a four up. Yeah. So four goes to five. Goes now. to five. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Fives. Oof. Ooh. One. Two, three, four. More than four. I make four of them. Now you got a four up uh, witness to destiny. Yep, witness to. Oof. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Sorry, I'm going to take good. two, four, five wounds. Take a five. That was really good. Out of 16, you only take a five. That's really good. Yeah, I didn't do your sixes any justice there, but yeah, five wounds is good. Okay, these guys here are going into the Korgoreth, hitting on twos still. Uh, they need it. Yeah, look at all those ones. Because of those ones. Lots of ones. Uh, you see, I get half ones. That's good. Um, <laughs> let's go. And wounding on three is re-rolling. Uh, which, Ooh. yeah, more than half ones on that oh one. Oh my gosh. You're see, I, I did the opposite of what you did last turn. Let's have those re-rolls. Uh, so we still have three of those dice going away. Yeah, um, yeah. So we're going to get five in on you. Five into the court wrath. His Red four one. up goes to a five up. Come on, you can do it, Corgi. Mochi. Oh, he's taking four more. Four more wounds, leaving him with two left. He has a total of eight wounds because he's corn, of course. Uh, now going on to my pick. 
Okay, now we're going to go here with these Blood Reavers into this, the other bird. They're right? not as good as the other Blood Reavers because they're not wholly within 16 of the uh, banner. Yeah. But uh, they are still within 8 of the Wrathmongers, so they are hitting on 4s, rerolling ones, because they have the Reaver Blades. And also, before we go any further, Shu uh, just realized that he gets to reroll hit rolls and wound rolls. For, or no, he gets plus 1 to hit and plus wound. Plus 1 to hit wound, yeah, for the Vengeful Revenants part of the, the uh, Phoenix Temple. I, I've been rerolling my wound rolls anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just for future reference. Hitting on 4s, rerolling ones. Okay, nice. good rolls again, good rolls again. Jack is kicking some butt. So again, yeah, buddy. but I am debuffed. Uh, just minus one. Minus, minus one, one and I'm rerolling one to wound because I am within range of the objective. Oops, take that. Oh. <laughs> so five rerolling ones. Ooh, look at me rolling hot. Super hot. Nice. Oh my goodness, the best Reavers I've ever done in the history of Warhammer. Two, four, six, eight. Reaver meta 2021. <laughs> four, six, eight. No run of these guys. Though. No run of these guys. So th we're looking at four ups for the uh, uh, burb. Here we go. Uh, they are going to take these. Okay. Total. The witness to destiny. Four witness to destiny rolls. Oh, we mix all of them. Oh no! The rat told them what was going to happen. Yeah, there's a rat on the base. I, I paid extra for that clan rat right in, right in there. That's extra five points. <laughs> Okay, we're going to attack with the Flame Spire Phoenix. The Phoenix Halberd on the rider is going to go into the uh, Blood Warriors. And we're going to go four attacks, threes and threes, uh, run one, damage one, but hitting on wooding on twos because of the Revenant's ability for the Phoenician army. So, uh, hitting on twos, wooding on twos. Two? So he has to take two. One run of one? Uh, run one, yeah. They still have all our defense, so it's going to be on four, six is our mortal wounds back. I'll re-roll this one. Re-roll that one. It's funky. Boom. I'll save one. Take, wait, take one. But this guy is going to die because I had one wound on him. And so. he gets to fight. Uh, uh, no, we'll finish after uh, all it, your attacks. Yep, exactly. And then we have uh, two, three, four, two, three, four. We have eight attacks from the Ice Cold Talons. Uh, no, this is actually the Flame Plus Spire guy. Um, okay, something totally different than the Ice Cold Talons. What is it called? Cooler than cold. It's Flaming Talons. Flaming uh, Talons. Yeah, so the different attack profile on this guy, he has uh, six attacks with the Flaming Talons. I uh, just reduced my dice to make sure I'm not cheating Jack. Uh, sure. We're hitting on fours normally, wounding on threes. So plus one to hit and wound is fours and twos. So, or threes and twos. So threes. Okay, two misses. And then twos. Oh, uh, three. So yep, yeah, three go in. What's the red? Ren one, damage two. All right, so I still have all defense, so I'm going to need fours. Mortal wounds on six back at you. Okay, I'm taking one wound. Uh, I'm going to finish this guy off. and uh, Two damage. Yeah. Oh, two damage each. So yeah. he takes one, and then the we'll take one on this guy over here. So he has one wound on him. And I will be piling an attack with him because he died. Uh, he hits three attacks. Hitting on threes. All hits. Wounding on fours. Rerolling ones because of the... Uh, I'm next to the uh, Blood Warrior Curse. One at no rend. Okay, so four up. Oh, I'm we're good. Okay, Jack, walk me through the damage. The Going through the uh, Flesh Hounds, they're wholly within 6 of the uh, Wrathmongers and wholly within 16 of this because you measure from the uh, model now that he is garrisoned in there. Right, you measure from the whole the, the whole, whole terrain piece, that, yeah. That little itty bitty is, boop, I get to measure that. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we are hitting on threes for the Flesh Hounds. We have six attacks each, which is awesome. I get those a hit. Boop. So boom, get all these misses out of there. Say hello to the missus. Okay. And then wounding on fours, because it's the curse of corn. But they are not um, mortal, so they do not get to reroll ones to wound. But that was a really good roll. Two, four, six, eight, nine into your uh, flame spire guy, and they have no rend now. Okay. Into the flame spire phoenix, we have uh, four ups. Uh, wow. Do, 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 do. That's a lot of punching directly in the bird. Did birds have... Did have the four board save? They do have four board saves. Did, did they have balls? Because you just totally knocked them. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea where uh, you were going with that one. <laughs> so this is a witness to destiny. Otherwise, you can take a fistful of damage. <gasps> oh, we did <gasps> one! Oh, <laughs> suck <no>. my balls. <laughs> one mother damage. Golly. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm recording this, and I'm just venting my frustration. I usually do this uh, between turns off camera, so you guys don't know how much of a salty player I am, actually. <laughs> but that was some horse sh**.
<laughs> this acid going to the bloodthirster. Please don't kill him. Let's please, see if this happens. He's got nothing to you. He's got poison blades. If I, uh, the wound roll is a six, then it does D3 mortal wounds. So I got to get lots of hits in there. He's hitting on twos, though, luckily for me. So ones are going to go away. That's one. And now he's wounding on threes, but twos? sixes are special. Oh, wounding on twos, yeah, yeah, but sixes are special. Oh, oh it's triple sixes! Three sixes! Oh, golly. That's 3d3 mortal wounds. in addition to... Uh, it's, I think it just does, it just did D3 Immortal Wounds and the attack sequence ends. Oh, Do okay. not make a save roll. So, uh, come on. Tri um, triple ones. Triple ones. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's, okay, two, it's four. Three, four. Okay, yep. okay. I can live. I have five wounds left. And so, then five, six, you need, you owe me two saves. Two saves, what's your rent? Rent one. Rent one. So my four goes to a five. So, come on, double five. Okay. No! Okay. Yep. So, I'm taking one wound. And then you did... Four Mortal Wounds. Four Mortal Wounds. So, that's a total of five. I need to make at least one of these or I'm dead. You, you can make one. There, okay, the, there's you one. You made exactly one. Okay, and there's one under here. It was a three. It was a three. I have one wound left. I lived. You lived? The boy who lived. <laughs> Harry Bloodthirster. <laughs> Jack, what's going on? Split my attacks because I have to. Uh, so, these two guys are going to go into your bird who I've managed to do one wound to. <laughs> and so, they'll be hitting all threes. We get plus two attacks because they are within range of the Wrathmonger and uh -huh. the Creator. Yeah. Uh, so, boom, that was a good, really good roll there. Now, yeah, wounding on fours, we on ones because I'm Gore Tide. Nice. Uh, hey. So, there is five, no rand into the Phoenix. Okay, let's see if I can live. So, the four ups. All right, you're taking two. That's Witness good. to Destiny. Come on. Two Witness to Destiny, four ups. Nice oh, two wounds. Okay. You're taking three damage total. Uh, yeah. Okay, now. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are the two normal guys into the Phoenix Temple, hitting on threes. Two normal guys. Yep. Um, boom. Wounding on fours. What, are, what are the normal guys? I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, so I have a guy who has the uh, rear, uh, the blood glaive. Oh, it's right, probably, right, right. Probably yeah. blood glaive. So right. the bat lift. Yes. Yes, the bat lift. Ooh, we roll that one. Go! Oh, it was a six. Yeah. Uh, two, no rent, into the Phoenix Temple. Okay, to the, oh, the, the guard? Yeah, yeah. Or the, okay, yeah, yeah. So four ups. Okay, one damage. And then four up. Ooh, Make it. What is this? All right, now Witness the glaive, he hits on threes. Okay. Kapla. Kapla, indeed. And wounding on threes, re rolling ones. Boom. Three oh. into, and this is minus one, right? Yeah, this is minus one, right? So fives. Boom, two damage each. Take that. Ooh. So we double those dice. Need fours here. We're going to take a lot of casualties. Or just one. Oh, just one. Okay. Darn it. All right. That's okay. Fine. Well, I don't want to kill you either. It's, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I forgot to go with the core graph. Yep. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's see if the general can, can kill him. Uh, not likely. Four attacks. Here we go. Twos and twos. Winning on twos. Winning on twos. Winning on twos. Boom. So, three. Three. Uh, minus one wind. Oh, he's dead. What? But that. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't have a lot of wounds left, did he? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I had two. I thought he was going to go. He did, though. That was a blood tie for me. Putting me up to three. Yeah, this guy is fire. Piling in a little bit this direction. Because yeah, you're piling into the closest unit, so he can... He's touching this guy here, and he's just piling in so he can try to kill that bloodthirster. I still got to try to get my battle tactic, and I'm still on the objective here, so I'm basically doing the thing I need to do. Uh, so we're attacking with the halberd first. Uh, it's got four dice on this. Hitting on twos, winning on twos. Because of the Revenant's oh, ability for Phoenix Temple. Oh, all the wounds. What's so, the Rend? Rend one. All right, so four to five. Oh, wow. Okay, crank, crank, crank. two and five up. Ah, oh, he's dead. Oh, four. Up to four blood tide, though. Yeah. Ugh. And since I didn't split the attacks, the attacks go away. Mm -hmm. Corgus Cole does have an eight-inch pile in. Get, get him in there. He's just going to come over here. Corgus Cole is going to smash you. And what are you going to do? Corgus Call, you send me to the warp? Send you to the warp, real quick. <laughs> Corgus Call likes his parole denied and his copy black. He's back since first edition. Yeah, where's Vandis? Nobody cares. Nobody uh, cares where so Vandis is. Hitting on threes, rerolling, because Corgus Call just gets to reroll his attacks. Uh, all hits. All hits. Uh, wounding on fours, because minus one, but I am holding from 12 of the objectives, so I'm rerolling ones. Reroll that one. Ooh, so four one. wounds out of minus one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Uh, so fives. Okay, uh, two, two. All right, so uh, D three. Yeah. So that's gonna be three wounds. Three wounds. Uh, so four uh, up. three four ups. 
Okay, you take a three I damage. Take three damage, and... Before I roll the dog, I'm just going to see if he disappears. He does! Get the He's out of here! Get out the here! Get out of here! Motherfucker! Get going out of here! I have to bleep the heck out of that cliff. <laughs> five blood tithe. <laughs> cool, we're going to fight with this bird, then. Uh, now that the other one's... Toes <laughs> ripped, playing, having a dirt nap with baby Sigmar. Uh, here we go. We're going to go with the Phoenix Halberd. Four dice, hitting on twos. So that's two hits, winning on twos. One, One wound. wound. Uh, I have no. I have a six up save, so your rain goes right through. Oh, nice, nice. Well, that's good news. Uh, and then we have uh, eight attacks coming at you with the, uh, the icy talons. Twos and twos? I have six. Seven, eight. Just how to get my dice ready. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, okay. Here we go. Twos and twos. Looking for the R1 symbol. Get those out of there. Now twos. Oof. Uh, and it just goes straight through because you have room, right? Six. Yep. And that this is, is going to be 12 damage. That is a unit. Blood Tide putting me up to seven Blood Tide points. You're going to bring a Bloodthirster back on the I table. I will. <laughs> I will bring a Bloodthirster back on. <laughs> the guy you just killed, too. Uh, I have plus one for the banner. Uh, and so it uh, puts me up to seven. I lost four guys. So, so D6 plus four. Oh, that's what I needed. Three, I'm good. Yep. Um, no battle shock for you because you're immune to battle shock if you're near uh, some of your guys. So we'll score for you. I actually have this one, which is the alpha one. Mm -hmm. um, you killed my monster. Uh, with a monster. With the monster. So you get your battle tactic. Plus one for doing and plus one for killing it with a monster and wearing Gur. So you get four for that, killing my, uh, your battle tactic and killing the monster with a monster. Nice. Uh, you get this one, that's five. And you get this one, six. Uh, yeah, and I killed the monster, so I get one. Yeah. As well. So the totals this turn for you are. I just got one, and I haven't won yet. But yeah. you got, just got six, putting you up to 12. Uh, yeah, so you have 12, and I right now have five. So going into corn, turn two. So, I'm going to go with the best day ever. <laughs> no, so first I have to have my battle tactic, which is going to be... Um, not Let me think of this. So, Jack, your um, battle tactic for this round is going to be... Conquer. conquer. I'm going to take an objective that shoot controls, and I will take the middle one. Conquer and take that. Going into my turn, I uh, don't have my general life, so I don't get a command point. Shu does, so he gets a command point. I will use my battle tactic, which will be um, best day ever or uh, <laughs> finest hour on yep. Skull Taker. So he will get plus one to save and plus one to wound. I will then, um, so I have seven CP. I could like fight in the hero phase. I don't think I'm going to do any of that stuff. Yeah, not CP, but seven blood type points. Yeah, blood type points. Yeah, I want to get one more and summon a blood thirst, so that's what I want to do. And I just have to, but that happens in the movement phase. And there's no way for me to actually kill a unit. I do have a little bit of shooting, but nothing to kill anything. So I'm not going to be able to summon it this turn. But if I do a double turn, there's going to be blood thirst for shooting to go. That's all <laughs> I think. So let's, uh, let's go to movement. Going into movement. Um, so we're going to come back after I move all my stuff up. And let's go. So that's it after for movement. You want to recap real quick? Uh, so retrieved my blood reaps out of combat. Moved uh, my Wrathmongers over here just to try to get as many buffs into these units as possible. Um, move the Wrathmongers over, whip them the Fury, so they'll be re-rolling wounds. Yeah, they're outside of uh, three there and three there. Yep, and uh, that's it. So for shooting, I do have a shooting attack. I'm going to do my roar over there. Hit. No wound there. That was another yeah. shooting attack I thought I had. Oh, Super the Super Dark Bark. You killed, you killed Mochi. Yeah, Mochi could have thrown bones at me. Okay, so that is it for my uh, movement. So I'm going to go Charges. Okay, Charging where? Charges. Charges with Skull Taker. Go Nine. get those elf skulls. Um, I heard they're in style this year. Oh, going for the whiz. Incredibly in character. Yeah, skull taker's going to go over there. Go in there, yeah. mark my whiz. She's going to hit you in the face for D3 damage. You know it. These guys, they get to re-roll because they have the banner. Yep. I'm going to re-roll that. Six, which is fine. Corn demons need to get played more. I love these things. Okay. Oh, man. We'll figure out where he's going. Charge in here. Six. There you go. This is how the blood letters piled in, by the way. They piled in there, oh. surrounding my poor assassin. They might have to split up their attacks. Now these guys look like they're having their best day ever. Ooh, they're excited. 
They are super excited. And that is it for the charge phase. Um, you get to do a uh, monstrous uh, action there. You can roar, you can stomp. Ugh. I have to pick someone, right? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to stomp. Yeah, I think I just need the damage. Who are you going to stomp? Um, no, we'll roar. We'll roar. Going to roar into the blood. Oh, I don't have any command points. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the reminder there. Mm -hmm. But we'll stop <laughs> for D3 damage. Uh, two up, right? Into the blood warriors? Blood warriors? Okay. Let's see if I can get one of them to pile in and hurt me in yeah, the face. That, that does it. How many mortal wounds? For one mortal wound. Finishing that guy off. And, and you're going to fight. He will fight you because you are, we are in a... Let me let me read the worst roll because if it says uh, if it gets killed in the combat phase, it, I might not be able to fight. Probably not, but we'll see. we'll see. Oh nope, Jack's suspicion was correct. Yeah, if I'm slain in the combat phase, then I can fight, and yeah. I was not slain in the combat phase. It worked. One two. Okay, so Jack's doing the math to see how many people get to chop up my assassin. <laughs> Blood letters are back, baby. One two three four five. They have 20, so they're hit, plus one hit. Yeah, uh, yeah. So wounding on, uh, hitting on threes, mortal wounds on sixes, in addition to. Whoosh. Uh, so that is one, <laughs> one mortal wound. Yeah. And wounding on threes. Okay, and that is going to be four at minus one. Four at minus one. So four, six up saves. He yeah. saved one, takes three damage, four plus total. one. He's got a wound left. That's right. Right, right, right. Uh, Jack reminds me, he did do, uh, take two damage from the Bloodthirster. So that finishes him off. He's toast. Oh, the mm -hmm. Blood Letters into the Phoenix Guard. Le Champion mm -hmm. is there. Uh, hitting on threes, one on sixes. Ooh, look at me. Oh. So that's going to be five mortal wounds in addition to. <laughs> and then wounding on threes. And again, I have 20 guys, so that gives me plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. That's two, four, six, eight, and a minus one. Oof. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do uh, four or five up saves with our armor. Wowee! Uh, I'll take that. That's pretty good. So we had three go through. And then we're going to do uh, Witness to Destiny. Uh, and plus five more wounds to that. So we add five dice to that. Oh, okay. Let's just, let's just roll these twice. Right. So four ups. Ooh, that's that's one, five dead guys. Five dead guys. And then four ups. Two more. Seven dead guys. Seven dead guys. I'll we'll do the math. And that's uh, how many are left. There's just three dudes left there, stoically, as the rest of their heads are flying around the room. Uh, we're going to attack with these guys here, hitting on twos, wounding on twos. Because mm -hmm. somebody did die. Because the Wrath of the Revenant. Here we go. Twos. And now... Twos. Okay. Ten. Minus one ray, uh, rain, so that's six up. Two, four... Boom. So we're looking for sixes. Okay, that Thank is you. some sixes. So that is two, four. So it's one, two dies dead, and one wound. Okay, he killed them. They turned into mist, but they do kind of flail and flash and smash when they die. Right. So on a two up, he takes one because there's only one model here. He takes a mortal wound. He takes wound. a mortal wound. He has a four Witness up. Witness to destiny. Four up. And no, then he takes a, a wound. On a four, uh, how many does the pass it off? What does he have to do it on? Two up? Oh, yeah. On a four up, he, uh, uh, let me check the adjective. Okay. So I'm going to roll on the, um, to put the damage on the loyal shields, not onto the hero. Yeah. So on a four up, it goes to the shields. Yep. No. Goes to the general. It goes to the general. On a four up, what is the destiny? Mm hmm. No. Nope. He's taking a wound. Takes his damage. All right, now uh, I'm going to blow up on them. On a five, they take D3. On a two to four, they take one. D3, mortal wounds. Oof. Take one. one. All right, now they have four their up. four up. Yeah. Yay. Arr, boom. One at a time. Now, that was uh, you fight me. Now i got to fight you. Did some piling in around here. Okay. And now Jack's going to go with these blood warriors. Yep, so they have two attacks normally, and they're going to get plus two. So we're going to go the three normal guys on to... The uh, Phoenix Templar. So hitting on threes. Nice. Okay. And then wounding on fours, rerolling ones, because I'm holding control of an objective. There's one one to reroll. Nope. So that's going to be two, four, six at no rent. Six at no rent. Here we go. Four ups. <clears throat> uh, oop, 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 oop. Four ups. And then four ups. 
on the guys that failed. Right. Don't no! Three more. And the one straggler is going to go into the bird. Okay, three hits. And four He's mad. wound. Uh, He's two. super mad, too. No range of the bird. Okay, so two four ups on the bird. Ooh. Fail the both. Mr. Destiny. Two four ups. Witness to Destiny. Ooh. Fail the both. Chicken away. Two more damage. Do the dance. Yeah. Go to the blood glaive. Yep. Kapla. Kapla. You got to see. And we will once the wound. Oh, Yay. four. Yes, that's four. Going to the Phoenix Temple? Yes, sir. Four minus one, so going to fives. Ooh, oh, that's two damage each. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So four. Uh, so it's going to turn into eight, eight Witness to Destinies. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Four ups. Oh, I oh no. I saved two, uh, but I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. They're gone. Ooh, nine blood time. All right, get a bonk in the face of the staff there. She hits on threes, wounds on twos because she's buffed with the revenant ability. Threes. Hits. Twos. Wounds. Any rent? Run one. one. Okay. D3 damage. So I have a four up, but that goes to a three up because uh, they FAQ'd his rules. And he just gets plus one to save. Four up. Saved it. Cranked it. No bonk to the eye. He Dogs are going. They get the buff from here, but not from the uh, Wrathmongers. They get the buff from the icon, uh, the top, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So they are hitting on threes, wounding on fours. Uh, okay, so that's, that's really going to be four, no rend. Four on two, the burb. Yep, four, four. Okay, here we go. Four up, no rend. Uh, one. Take one, and witness to destiny. No, he didn't see it coming. It's like, oh, that dog, it bit me. Okay, the general has gone this way, and he's piled into the blood letters. Uh, he's got four attacks, hitting on twos and twos. So here we go, fours. Or four attacks, hitting on twos. <laughs> and then twos. Oops, so That's three. three minus one. one rend. So five up goes to six up. Oh, taking three damage. Which is perfect for me, so I'm going to get rid of these two. So I can pile in with Chorus Cole. And then I'll blame rid of this guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll pile then into the uh, unit there. The Phoenix Temple. Hitting on threes, re-rolling, because it's Corvus Cole. Yep. Ooh. And then wounded on... What's the range of that debuff? I think I'm uh, within it. Uh, it's 12, I think. Yeah, I'm within it there, so I'm wounded eight. on... It might be eight. Wounded on fours, uh, re-rolling ones. Let's keep track of where they are. So, so three, because uh, he's at full profile. Uh, wounded on threes at a minus one. Okay, the Blizzard Aura is within nine inches, which happens to be there. So that's three minus one. Uh, going into the Phoenix Guard, their uh, armor save is five up. Okay. Fail all three. Do and three. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Seven damage. Six, seven. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Four ups. Uh-uh. Uh, taking three, just enough. Three. Oh, that's the unit. Blood type point. Okay, I'm uh, going to go to the bird into the... Um, Blood Warriors, because I like getting hit when they die. <laughs> uh, it's got four attacks on this profile. Uh, hitting on threes because of the Revenant's ability. So threes. And then wounding on twos. One. one. All right. Run one, damage two. Goes through. Two damage. So, boom, he's going to die. And you have the guy on top, right? Yep. And then the guy on top has four dice. He's going to hit on twos and twos. Twos. And then twos. So three, three. run one. All right. Uh, dog, oh, that's going to be a total of five, six, uh, no, five damage. So it's going to be two guys who will pile in, and uh, and, and one guy will take a wound. Okay, these dead guys are going to pile in do some work. Attack. Uh, so it's just going to be four hits, and we will that like one. Two. Just two, two, no rend. Okay, Tina Rend, uh, going to fours. Yep, makes them both. Wrathmongers have piled in. They don't get the Wrathmonger bonus, but they do get to the bonus from the totem on the on the little stage, on the rock and roll stage, uh, the sermon stage. What's he doing up there? He's preaching. He's preaching. Yes. <laughs> so a, a corn uh, sermon probably sounds a little bit like. Actually, you no, couldn't be preaching because he's not a priest. Oh uh, yeah. That'd be Cordell. So yeah. the champion gets plus one. Uh, they did charge. They charge this so they get a plus one hit. 
Hitting on threes, winning on threes, re-rolling. Okay, we get plus one to hit when they charge, and they are whooped to fury, so they re-roll in. Ooh, rolls. Minus one rend on this. A lot of dice. Got a lot of guys. Reroll these. I feel like I'm some sort of phoenix guy. <laughs> All these re-rolls. Okay, yep. So two, four, six, seven out of minus one. Seven. Six, seven. Here we go. Seven minus one, so five ups. Uh, we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six. six. And then out of those, witness uh, what's the destiny? damage? Just one damage each. Just one damage each. Okay, so witness to destiny. Uh, one, three. two, three. Yep, so three guys are gonna go down out of this group of five. Don't need the banner? It's not looking good. <laughs> yeah, don't need the banner because they're all immune to battle shock. On brand, Jack has piled in the skull taker around the side of the wizard so he can split up his attacks. Because they get plus two. It's as you do. So it's only three, and then plus two, so I'll put. Uh, three into her, two into them. Uh, if I roll a six to hit, it's three mortal wounds in mm -hmm. addition to, and the ones uh, into her because she's a hero. I'm rerolling hits and wounds. That's why I decided to split my attacks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so I'll be hitting on threes, wounded on threes, minus one and three damage. Let's see it. So the actually I'm gonna do this. Three into them, two into her because I'm rerolling. Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna fish for sixes. Yep, Should those are two good hits. Those are two good hits. I'm not fishing for sixes. So I got five wounds. And two at a minus one rend. Two minus one, so six up. Okay, so I got her because it's three damage each, six. She's toast. So Splitting the attacks worked. Now, now the into these set. guys, hitting on threes. No re-rolling, that's three mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. And two at minus one. Two at minus one. Here we go. Here's where I start cranking the saves. Double sixes. Nope, nope. failed so one. Six damage total. Six damage total. <laughs> Four, five, six. We got this, right? We got this. Easy peasy. Beautiful. Yeah. Cover girl. We got We got this. So, four ups. No, they're dead. Just <laughs> they're super dead. Okay. Battle shock. Lost two here. Still have the banner though, so my six goes to a seven. I am losing a guy. Mm. Um, I'll use this guy who's hurt. Mm -hmm. Get the pile of attack. Uh, Wrathmongers have a bravery eight. Lost two. I think I'm good. Mm-hmm. These guys, I can't fail, but if I roll a one, I get these six guys back. Nope. And uh, that is it. So I got the alpha, which is this one. That's two. Mm -hmm. I got this one. That's three. And you got your battle this tactic. One. Oh, I didn't take this because this guy, oh, no, this guy counts. We have to measure this. Yeah. If he's I think he's in. Because it was right about here. Okay. So. Yeah. So I got this one. Um, and so that's well, uh, one, two, three, four, battle tactic, five, six. Uh, for taking that. So I got a total of six. Okay, so here's the status right now. Jack is at 11 points. Because I I'm... killed one of Shu's monsters. Yep. Uh, so I got a point for that. And and so and I'm at 12. Uh, he has this control point. He has this control point. He has this control point. Now, um, I have three models on the table. A bird, this bird, and this champion right here this guy yeah. um he who's who's probably gonna go down but he's gonna go down swinging like they're skull taker's looking at him that, that's right that skull taker is looking at him and, and so uh, yeah like if i win the roll off i'm gonna play the turnout but if i don't win the roll off i'm gonna concede the jack because i think he's got a pretty good chance of keeping these objectives from my three miniatures here we go jack a one <laughs> two or three okay i will gg my I guy will take it i will uh Get points. I'll kill that guy with my battle tactic. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think she's going to be able to catch me after that. I can't catch you. And uh, like we would keep playing, but it is actually pretty late. It's late it's, it's and late. 900 and degrees it is in this room. Sweaty. It was very sweaty in here. So uh, summer, appreciate you guys for being patient. We are we're recording a game in two days too. So. Yep. We're gonna overload you with information. You might have two battle reports yeah. out this month. Yeah. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> what are we doing? All right. Jack. Yeah. How did uh, how the game go for you? Uh, good. That uh, your first turn had me a little worried, especially the way you were rolling. But yeah. I knew I knew it, would, you know. <laughs> it can't last forever, baby. Yeah, yeah. Like on paper, they're like, oh, people, oh, these are really good, but it's like if you throw enough dice at them, if you do enough attacks, you're gonna. It's one wound each. Yeah, it goes gonna, right through. You're gonna be able to get through it initially, yeah. and like you kind of had a few spike rolls of a lot of you know one twos and threes, and like a few ones in there. They go get that unit out, get that unit out. I think corn. 
you know, I don't think they're going to be a top army right now, but I think there's some play. They're going to, they are going to be competitive stuff. People are uh, leaning in that Priest kind of got hit with a nerf because you only get per, one prayer each, and Old Corn was, you know, f- doing three Depending prayers. Depending on that, yeah. Yeah, they're like three prayers each Priest. Uh, uh, you know, I just wanted to send waves and waves of body at them because, mm-hmm. you know, table smaller. I'm going to get bodies on the objectives. Once he clears my first rank, hopefully he kills those things off. I'm going to get some blood tithe. I'm going to come at him with the second rank with, you know, Corgus Coal Pollen and eight. And hopefully, uh, I was, oh, my general, you totally, like, I, was, I should have fought with him first, but I was hoping I could spike that Bloodthirster AoE attack. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, so yeah. you're like, no, he's dead. <laughs> and so this is the first time you've played Phoenicium. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I, it's a learning game for me because I have the models. I, I love Phoenix Temple in general, so I have like more than two thousand points of Phoenix Temple now. Uh, but the I, I never played Phoenicium, and I I've been looking at the rules, and a lot of people are kind of like eh, I don't really understand Phoenicium. So what Phoenicium does really well is it takes this buff that the elves normally have on their own, and it can give it to units that don't, aren't actually Phoenix Temple. So like you can use the basically an, an analog of Captain the Phoenix Guard on non Phoenix Temple units. And also, when a Phoenix Temple unit or when a Phoenician unit dies, the whole army gets a buff. That's so, actually, I didn't realize how good that was until yeah, I saw so, that action. Right, if you're going to roll a Phoenician army, I think the way to do it would be to, to grab a couple of heavies, uh, because this army really doesn't have any hammers, it's all anvils. So if mm-hmm. you have a couple of heavies, like a general on Phoenix, or not a Phoenix, but a general on Griffin, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, maybe some long swords, that kind of thing, and a whole bunch of Stormcast birds Ooh. that you can pile in with when you get charged, uh, when those birds get killed, everyone goes to 2-2. Um, which is really powerful. So if you want to, you know, try to play around Phoenicium, I think there's some gas in that tank. I don't know that it's ever going to be like a top tier competitive list because your spells are kind of lackluster. Um, but the, uh, yeah, the army itself, I think was fun to play. If you're having like a, you know, just let's throw some armies, armies together and smash, smash heads. That then this yeah, is kind of what you what want. We kind of want, we just like, Hey, let's yep. line up and run at each other and try to learn third edition. Yep. I do like it. I think it's going to be interesting to see what comes with the stormcast from the new book. I saw those dragons and stuff. Yeah. That might be a nice little hammer that you can add to this army of uh, anvils. In with third edition it's uh, a little interesting now because you know having uh, multiple plus one to hit is probably not gonna really affect you unless you're fighting against Nurgle or maybe some Gits or mm-hmm. anything like that. But that plus one rune, wound is really big for the army. Yep. And so uh, yeah, I definitely see it in action, made me respect it more. Because uh, we just we kind of picked it because he had all these phoenixes and yeah, obviously in when in Phoenicia, do as a Phoenician. <laughs> Flame Spire, when it flies over you with a normal move, it does on two of those uh, uh, five mortal wounds. That kind of got nerfed because before normal moves, including retreat and run, and so, yeah, so he could like run he right over you. Yeah, and he could have retreated away from me. But could have been zooming around the, the table the whole, t- yeah, the whole just game. Yeah, burning me up. Whereas he kind of got stuck over there with the dogs, and uh, I was able to uh, outlast him and uh, win it. But it was a good game. And uh, I, uh, I appreciate yeah. the game, Chew. Thanks. And it's late, so we're going to go to bed because I have a tournament tomorrow, which I'm going to take corn again, but not this late. It's going to be a little nasty. One thing I, w- I did want to mention, this, this battle report was longer, and I hope you had fun watching it. The last battle report was kind of over on turn two. We also ended this one on turn two. I just, I just think that AOS 3, it just happens to be bloodier because the table size is smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, just get in there. Get in there and fight. So uh, fight on and have fun. Thanks for watching.